Hello and welcome to this module on IB Organic Chemistry. I have in my hand here a butane lighter. But what kind of butane does it contain? Do you know that butane has an isomer that is commonly known as isobutane? But what about if we have a substance that has three or four of these structural isomers? Things that have the same molecular formula but different spatial arrangements. How could we distinguish between one form or one isomer and another? Well, one way is perhaps to call it isomer 1, and isomer 2, and isomer 3, and isomer 4. Or another way is to develop a systematic procedure for naming organic compounds. And this naming system is known as nomenclature. And today in this first lesson, we're going to go straight in and look at how we name these two forms of butane. And then we'll look at some other structures and how we assign the names. And after that initial experience, then we'll go to the rules as laid out by the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry and begin to see how the rules fit in with the names that we've learnt. And the good news is, at this level, we don't need to name very complicated structures. So let's move in and take a closer look. And here we see butane. Bute because we have four carbons in a straight chain. So the prefix bute is used. If we have one carbon, it's meth, two carbons, eth, three carbons, prop, four carbons, bute, five carbons, pent, and six carbons, hex. And butane because this is a saturated hydrocarbon made up of only carbon to carbon single bonds and carbon to hydrogen single bonds. Here, the hydrogen is not included in the structure, but it's understood. Another way of representing butane is like this, with the condensed format. Or you can even represent it as simply as this. And if anything else is attached, then it must be written out. But with no letters written, then the points of joining of each line represent carbon atoms, and each carbon is taken as having the maximum number of hydrogen single bonds which in this case would be three hydrogens. For this carbon, it will be two, another two here, and another three here. CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. Represented simply like this. Now let's look at the isomer that I mentioned earlier. Labeled on the board as 2-methylbutane. And if you look here, you can see that there are four carbons. But the question is, are these four carbons in a straight line? Three carbons are in a straight line here. This way, three carbons are in a straight chain. And this way, three carbons are in a straight chain. Or this way. But there's no possible way that you can have four carbons in a straight chain, which means that the prefix but is out of place. And this structure should be called two methyl because there's a CH3 group which is known as the methyl group attached to carbon number two whichever end we begin numbering from this is still carbon number two but it should be called 2-methyl propane because you have three carbons in the longest straight chain so the correct name for this isomer of butane is 2-methyl propane and you can see that it is an isomer because it contains the same number of carbons and the same number of hydrogens. These structural isomers have the same molecular formula, but they have a different arrangement. Now as we move on to look at some more examples, let's recall that the alcohol functional group is OH. We can see a carbon backbone that includes a straight chain of four carbons. And many of the names that we're going to use include the prefix but, owing to the fact that this longest straight chain is four carbons. Notice that some of the side chains are methyl groups, CH3. They also include carbons. So let's consider the first structure. Simply four carbons. This structure is one, two, three, four, but, fully saturated C4H10, CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3, butane. Now if we were to add 
one OH group to this carbon, then we would have butane one all. The one because the OH functional group is found on carbon atom number one. Now, how do I know that this is carbon atom number one and not carbon atom number four? Well, the naming system tries to keep the numbers as low as possible. So if the functional group is located on carbon one, then this is where we begin counting from. So by saying butane one all, we know that OH is on one of the ends of the chain. Whichever end it's on, the structure will still be designated butane one all. If this OH were located here, 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 or even here, then at any one of those positions, we would have a structure designated as butan 2 all But again for the four carbons in the straight chain, but the functional group is now located on a second carbon. And again, to keep the number as low as possible, we don't call it butan 3 all but we begin counting from this carbon so that this would be number 2, and this 3, and this 4. And if the OH group were located here, then the structure would still be butan 2 all because the convention of keeping the number as low as possible by counting from this carbon is 1, 2, 3, 4. So whether this OH is located in any one of these four positions, the structure is still butan 2 all. So what about if we wanted to get butan 3 all? Think about the way that we name the alcohols. Is it possible to have butan 3 all? Well, you might think 1, 2, 3, and you put the OH on here and you get butan 3 all. But if you wanted to keep the numbering as simple as possible, then this would have to become carbon 1, and this would be carbon 2. So then this would simply become butan 2 all. And it means that butan 3 all cannot exist. So let's remove the OH group now and consider if we included two methyl groups, then we would still have this as the longest straight chain. One, two, three, four. But now there would be two methyl groups located on carbon atom number two. And if we began counting from this way as our longest straight chain, then this would still become carbon 2, and we would still have a CH3 here and a CH3 here. So the name of this structure then, 2,2-dimethyl, because there are two methyl groups, butane, because we have the longest straight chain, a fully saturated 4-carbon backbone. 2,2-dimethyl-butane. Notice the way that these two numbers are written two, a comma, another two, and then there's a dash, and dimethylbutane follows as one continuous word. Consider then what would two, three dimethylbutane look like? Well, it means that there's a methyl group on carbon two, and there will be another one on carbon three. One, two, three, four, the longest straight chain, each of two and three containing a methyl group. And finally, what about if we were to now add an OH group? Then the functional group would have to take precedence in the numbering system. And in keeping with that, then this would have to become carbon 1. So with this becoming carbon 1, then this structure would become 1, 2, a methyl, 3, a methyl, 2, 3, Dimethyl butan one all. But if we were to place the OH here, then we would have no way of labeling this carbon as carbon number one because the longest straight chain is four carbons. And if this were to become carbon one, then the longest straight chain would only be three. So it means that this structure would have to be called two three dimethyl butan 
to all. Finally, I would like you to try naming this structure using everything that you've learned in this lesson.